Hey, what's up guys, it's Lauren. So today I'm gonna be showing you a tutorial on how to make this bag. And guess what? It was made out of a rug. Don't worry, it was clean. All you're gonna need is a little rug that's about 27 inches by 15 inches. And you'll also be needing a sewing machine, thread and needle, that's kind of goes together. And that's it, I think, yeah. Scissors, that would be important. So yeah, let's go make a bag. First, you're going to take your rug and fold it to the width that you want your bag to be. What I did is I just folded it almost halfway, just a little less than halfway, and I folded it into what the bag is actually going to look like to make sure that that's how I wanted the design to turn out. Once you decide the width that you want it to be, take your scissors and just cut off the extra fabric. Cutting a straight line while it was folded was kind of difficult, so what I did was I unfolded it and I followed the thread all the way to the other side of the rug with my scissors to make sure that I was cutting in a straight line. Once you're finished cutting off the extra fabric, go ahead and set that aside for later because we are going to be using that for the straps of the bag. Now taking your main fabric, we're just going to fold it and decide what we want the height of our bag to be. So basically I'm just folding the fabric how I would want the bag to look like. And what I did was I just cut about two to three inches from the inside tassels, not the outside tassels because we're going to be using that for decoration. But I'm cutting the tassels from the inside about two to three inches and that will make the height that I want my bag to be. you can just throw away that extra fabric and fold your bag to make sure that you made the right cut. Now taking the extra fabric that we cut off earlier, we are going to cut off the tassels from both sides because those will not be needed for the handles or the strap of the bag. <laughs> Once that's finished, just lay out your fabric and fold it in half lengthwise and then take your scissors and what we're going to do is we're just going to cut down the middle of the fabric. This is going to make a strap that is long enough because we're going to end up sewing these straps together. Now taking the first piece of fabric that we cut, we're going to fold that to the height that we measured earlier and we're going to sew down the sides with a zigzag stitch. So we're going to sew down both sides to make a little pouch and it'll make an actual bag. <laughs> So it's very important that you do not forget to set your sewing machine to the zigzag stitch because that will make sure that we have a strong seam and that our bag doesn't fall apart since it is woven and it's very loosely woven. Once you finish sewing both sides, turn your bag right side out. Once you lay it out, you're going to check if there's any raw edges, which are edges that are kind of fraying, and you're going to see at the top of the flap there should be one where you cut, and you're just going to fold that down, and you're going to do the same thing you did with the sides, you're just going to use a zigzag stitch, and I would suggest using thread that kind of looks like the thread that is used in the woven fabric so that it doesn't really show up. Next, just fold in the last raw seam and sew it down with a zigzag stitch. And now you should be all finished with the body of the bag and we're gonna head over to do the straps. Now taking the two strap pieces that we cut out earlier, we're gonna connect them at the top with a zigzag stitch to make a long strap for the crossbody bag. This is what it should look like once you finish sewing the tops together. Now what we're gonna do is find the middle of that strip and fold the edges towards the middle. 
And then after you do that, you're just gonna fold it again. And then taking your needle and thread, I made it double threaded kind of so that it's a stronger thread. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna sew that seam together to make sure that it doesn't come unfolded. And this is gonna make our strap and it's gonna be super strong because it's folded like four times. Just do that for the rest of the strap and once you're finished, you're going to open the body of the bag that we made earlier and you're just going to attach the strap to one of the sides with your needle and thread. I said your needle, your needle and thread. And just make sure that you sew it really strongly, really tight because we don't want your stuff to fall out. We don't want your bag to get lost because you're going to be walking around with just a strap, no bag. <laughs> you're just going to be walking around with like a snake on your shoulder. Then just do it to the other side and you're finished! Woohoo! I decided to style this bag with this creamy lace dress that's very girly and then I also paired it with this turquoise beaded necklace and my beaded sandals. This bag is definitely a boho slash hippie style, but it can also be very girly. I just like that I'm going to be able to wear it in the spring because it's a nice pink color and it looks really great with this dress, so I'm definitely going to be wearing it with this dress in the spring and a bunch of my other clothes because it looks really great with everything. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video and that your bag turned out super cool and Oh my gosh, I wanna say thank you so much for a thousand subscribers. I've actually reached a thousand subscribers, which that was one of my goals for this year. And so I reached my goal already, so I have to set a new one. So that's awesome. And guess what? I'm having a giveaway soon because of my thousand, reaching a thousand subscribers. And um, yeah, so make sure to look out for that because I'm pretty excited. I'm gonna check out some prizes that I wanna give away and it'll be really fun. Okay, so make sure to subscribe and like this video and I'll see you later, bye.